What's up, everyone? It's Karen Richardson, your Atlanta Realtor with EXP Realty, the Atlanta Relocation Guide. And today we are in Woodstock taking a look at a brand new construction by Curly Family Homes with the twist. I said that about the last video because now we're going to show a second house that they're building, a neighborhood that they've since sold to a different builder to finish it. So, without any further delay, let's get right after the property tour right now. So, this is the Windsor plan. And these three properties that you see are the only homes that Curly will have built in this neighborhood. Take a look at the neighborhood. There's a lot of lots that are going to be developed. All of that was sold to a different builder. Now, that different builder is Davidson Homes. They are scheduled to come in here and raise the price point from the sevens into the eights. And it'll be interesting to see what product they built. Because if they build something that is similar size and increase, then these homes were right under seven that Curly at this point wants to sell and divest from the neighborhood from uh, are going to be a really good deal in a couple of years. Because when you buy brand new, if you're one of the first people that buy in a brand new neighborhood, you ride that wave of appreciation all the way up from the first sale to the end because the builder raises prices every time they sell a house or two, sometimes a couple. So if Davidson comes in and it's similar features, similar square footage, and they start in the eights, then these three homes will already have an equity to uh, instant appreciation. So you can see the big driveway in the front, not a whole lot of lawn, mostly driveway. But there's a lot of it, makes it easy to get in and out of the side end the garage. Courtyard set up really. Got that nice covered porch with the heater beams, or co heater covering on the beams, I should specify. Like the light fixtures, combination of different uh, board and batten siding, which I really like on houses. Brick, darker features with the gutters and windows. Really nice. Let's step inside and take a look. Okay, so this has a completely different floor plan than the other house we saw in last week's video. This one's got the dining room to the right. Top of the ceiling. You can turn up the light fixture in this one. That's Engineered wood floors throughout the level. The straight chute for these stairs. And over here where the garage is, a little mudroom. Place to hang jacket, coats, pop in shoes down there. Quick look in the garage. Similar size to the other house. Maybe a little bit bigger. Not by much. The extra space would come inside there, potentially. They're roughly the same size, I'd say. So this plan does have a uh, bedroom with a full bathroom on the level. We're going to start and take a look at that right now. The trim package, it's got the town molding, good boots for it. there. So here's that first bedroom. Now, every bedroom in this house is gonna have its own bathroom. So a little bit of a walk-in closet over here. Here's the bathroom, that's the bedroom, and also to the hallway, what your guests would use. So I don't know, do you necessarily want this to be a bedroom? No, I think it's a good guest room. I have elder parents or somebody who's not as mobile and can't navigate stairs. Fantastic spot. I personally would use it as an office. How are you? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers. If you enjoy these property tours, consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing, and hit that bell notification button so you never miss another one. Check out the family room. So this one does not have built-ins on either side of the fireplace. 
I really like how massive the mantle is. I'm doing so this house has a lot of farmhouse features. It's got some chip lap, lots of white, wood off that color, but still quite popular. Style starting to change, but there's still a strong trend for farmhouse. And look at this space. So we walk into breakfast area here. Look at the built-in cabinets. This house has cabinets for days. So check that out. All the cabinets to the right, under lighting, pre cabinet lighting. Got more cabinets over there. It's a massive island. Interesting setup because you have to come all the way. It's not that it's super far, but you're coming over here for the microwave. And the rest of the kitchen appliances are all on the other side. This house does not have a refrigerator. I'm a big fan of offset colored island. Got a wood stain on this setup. Got farmhouse ceramic sink. Five burner on cooktop. Always like the hot filler. One less thing for me to drop water on the way. The boil water. Got your double oven. Everything is whirlpool. Lighting. Lots of natural light comes in here. A walk in pantry over here. Good storage in there. And then in this hallway, it simply goes to the bedroom bathroom. It has additional storage. This is underneath the staircase. Little utility closet and a linen closet for the bedroom. Let's step outside, take a look at the covered patio. A little bit later in the day, it is a holiday, so it's not going to have as much traffic as you normally would, but get a good sense for how many cars go by here on Trickham Road. Pretty busy road, honestly. House that we saw in last week's video, I'm gonna pop it up in the card if you haven't seen it. Or just check out the playlist that I have at the end of the video. It's a new construction playlist for videos all over Fulton, Cobb, Cherokee, the Cab, typically the counties that I'm filming in. Now, if you enjoy these kind of property tours, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. The more likes a video gets, the more that I know that, that type of video is what you want to see. So it helps me figure out which ones to go and shoot. If you haven't already done so, I would absolutely appreciate your support with subscribing. Hit that bell notification button so you never miss another one of your Property tour video at least once a week. Starting soon, we're going to be doing full production new highlights, not just individual property. So what do you think about the uh, open nature of this first story? Main levels, nice and open, lots of windows, lots of natural light. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you like properties that are open concept like this? After the health crisis of 2020, 2021, and people having to stay together under one roof, started hearing the National Association of Builders talking about building for fragmented style houses just to create a little bit more separation. For the longest time, the last few decades, open concept was there. I still like open concept. I think that there are plenty of places to go to if you want to have your own space. Take a look at the upstairs. Now, downstairs has the engineered wood, upstairs is going to be all carpet. When you arrive, the other house had a flex space in the hallway. Got the wrought iron spindle. Laundry room bigger in this house. Got double, well, no, not double. It has four cabinets that thick in this one. But there's room for a little folding station or something on this side, like your washer and dryer. 
a potential attachment. The hallway has its own closet. Here is one of the bedrooms. And the walk-in closet. Oh, that's a good size walk-in closet. I just wondered what these little doors are. Many counties have similar regulations, but if you uh, have a roof line, you need to have access and have that space. Fire code to provide that access, and so that's what that is. Thought the closet had one as well. This room has a total of three. Now it's Need extra storage is what people will use it for. But that's what that what its purpose is. It's basically the access to the fire code. This is the bathroom. Every bathroom has tiled surround, tub shower, tiled floors. A good sized bathroom, honestly, the secondary bathroom. That's all. Is the second bedroom. What are these two size rooms? I lived in this house, the room that we just saw came from would be my favorite. I would cover that because from the front of the house, a little bit less noise compared to the rooms on the back of the house. This bathroom. Definitely hear the cars. Possibly a tall wood. That neighborhood was built out a couple of years ago. Nice neighborhood. General area is big. Really close. First of all, it's got good school. There's a lot of shopping, not too far away from interstate school. Alright, let's take a look at the third bedroom up here. Also on the front side of the house, which is a advantage. Three Slightly smaller bathroom one. Look at size. This is the only one there's space. Closet. Let's take a look at the time for Lots of crown actions. Good amount of windows. Lots of light that can be in there. Lock the closet on the side. Take a look at the primary bathroom. We've got the tile floor, tile around the tub. Second walk in right here. Nice to have all that space in the storage. Water closet in the back. Shower enclosure. Got its own tile pattern at the bottom. Good size soaking tub. Here you've got your double vanity, quartz countertops. Good amount of cabinet space. 
All right, I may have seen this, but Chloe found one thousand dollars and she took it off the price. But Chloe's cost for a late buy down quite a bit. We'd like more information about this property or any other. Feel free to reach out. So if you're planning to move to Carolina in 60 days or six months, and uh, you're looking for somebody that can help you with that transition with a realtor, I can help you with the cost, but I can only help contact you. All my contact information is in the description below. Feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you down through those areas. Now, if you'd like to watch more properties, I've got a great playlist of other construction homes. Click up here. If you ever want to miss another one, haven't already done so, sadly, click down here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on the next one.